x and y are real numbers such that x squared minus y squared equal to 9 and x, y equal to 3. Find the value of x and y. So we have two equations here, two variables. One of the most useful ways to use replacement. Find one variable, for example, y in terms of x and replace in the other equation. So here x squared minus y squared equal to 9 and xy equal to 3. So, I say if I divide, we know x is not 0 because if it is 0, xy will be 0, not 3. If we divide by x, y equal to 3 over x. Now, if we replace in first equation, we have x squared minus y is 3 over x squared equal to 9. And by power rule, we know that a over b, power of m equal to a to the m over b to the m. Now, it will be x squared minus 3 squared over x squared equal to 9. Okay, now we want to get rid of this denominator will multiply by x squared so or let's do something at first we can consider x squared as new variable for example x squared equal to omega or w so it will be w minus 3 squared is 9 x squared is w equal to 9 now if you multiply both sides by w it will be w squared minus 9 equal to 9 w and now, if we take all things to left hand side, w squared minus 9w minus 9 equal to 0. Now, we want to use quadratic formula, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. Then we can say x equal to negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over to a. And if we want to apply it here, a is 1, b is negative 9, and c is negative 9. Instead of x here, we have w. So w will be negative b, negative negative 9, plus minus b squared, which is negative 9 squared, minus 4ac, which is 4 times 1, times negative 9, all over 2a, which is 2 times 1. And if you simplify negative negative 9 is 9 plus minus 9 negative 9 squared is 81 minus minus plus plus 36 all over 2. And if you simplify more, it will be 9 plus minus 6 plus 1, 7, 8 plus 1, 1, 1, 7 all over 2. And you can also, if you want to take things we can say 117 is a 9 times 190 and 27 3 and if you take you can take 3 9 will be 3 outside the root 13 over 2 and let me tell you so here probably is what is x squared so x squared is at least 0 because x is real numbers so here, we should only consider, if you consider minus sign easily, because 9 is root 81. is less than 117, 117. So, because w is at least 0, w will be 9 plus 3 root 13 all over 2. And it is x squared. The problem says find x and y. So, x squared is 9 plus... 3 root 13 over 2. And we can conclude x is plus minus square root of 9 plus 3 root 13 over 2. So because x and y are symmetric, let me tell you, when you find one x, two values, so you will understand that x and y, if you want to write all values, one of them will be plus 1 root the other one will be minus 9 plus 3 root 13 over 2. The next one will be negative square root of 9 plus 3 root 13 over 2. Or it will be minus. Ah, let's check 
here it says x square minus y square. Okay, at the end also we will check 9 plus 3 root 13 over 2, and here plus 9 plus 3 root 13 over 2. Now, we should check two equations. The first equation was x squared minus y squared equal to 9 from the assumption here. And x, y is 3. So let's check. x, y is 3. For this one, we can say, okay, we have 1 minus sign. So here, let me tell you something. Because x and y from first equation are not symmetric, so we should calculate y in each case. So x is this until here is okay. Let's find y. We know the product should be 3. Here, we want to get rid of this square root. So, we have an important identity. A plus B like rationalize. When you want to rationalize, it will be A squared minus B squared. If I consider Y, so here, X, Y is 3. So if I consider here plus, because here is plus, I should consider plus. I consider 3 root 13, I can write it as 117. And also, let's correct second one. Previous one was not wrong, but because for easier calculation, I write this for you. So if I consider y as root 117 minus 9 over 2. If you calculate x, y, for example, in this case, it will be square root of, by this identity, 117 squared minus 9 squared over 2 times 2, which is 4. And it will be 117 minus 81 over 4. And you will see it will be root 36 over 4, which is root 9, which equal to 3. So for first one, the first equation is okay. And if you take second equation, it will be x squared is 9 plus root 117 over 2 minus y squared, which is this minus 9 over 2. And this and this will be cancelled. 9 over 2 plus 9 over 2 is 9. So it's okay. So our first equation is okay. Second equation, because it is minus, similarly, and we know by this y will be unique. So if you can say minus sign, the product will be positive and root 117 minus 9 all over 2. Similarly, like previous case x y will be 3 and also x squared minus y squared will be 9. It's a homework we write another equation to solve. Suppose x cubed minus y cubed equal to 9 in this case and x y equal to 3 and find x and y. Try to solve this and comment below this video your answers. Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification for having next ideas and videos and like the video. Thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye.